All right, John, so I had to do a little bit of carb tubing, and here you'll see that issue that I'm uh, talking about where the idle changes speeds. So right now it's idling pretty good in neutral, but watch what happens when I put it in first gear. So I'll put it in first gear and I'll let the clutch out just a little bit. down when I let the clutch out a little bit and then all you do is rev it and it comes back up so I'm thinking a vacuum leak but I've never been able to trace it down So it's never been bad enough to where I really even cared that much, but uh, there's definitely something going on. And I've sprayed ether all around the intake. Um, I've had, not that cover off, but I think, yeah, I've had this off, sprayed ether around there, and the RPMs never pick up. I sprayed ether all around, there's the, the V-Force reeds sprayed ether all through here these are all new gaskets and everything so my guess is there's a leak in the crankcase somewhere um, unless someone else that no one's we've never been able to figure it out my dad and i kind of chalked it up as probably just needs new seals but like i said it's not really bad enough to really give a shit about for a cr80 <laughs> yeah the back tires Brand new as of like three years ago, I think. Same with the chain sprocket. You can't you can't pull up on those. I just lubed it all up. It's got the stiffer spring, which is sprung for probably 200 pound, like a 200 pound rider. Front tire came with it, but it's in pretty good shape. It's still got the little old mark brakes are new well, at least the pads are put one of these little dingle donkeys on there just got the breakaway levers I do not know how that got scratched that is just a weird spot unless I had my flashlight here mounted to the bar and it was hitting that's just odd stickers that makes it go faster pro taper bars wheel bearings are good um, I replaced some of them I don't remember which ones it's got fresh coolant in it as of like two years ago Let's see I did the brakes it's got nice clear brake fluid in there did that one it's pretty nice 80 doesn't really leak exhaust too much. That's all sealed up nicely. Leaks a little down here. You can see there's some black. It's also got, you can see I put the same stuff you guys use on the triples or we use on the triples, whatever. It's got all that new McCooney brand uh, fuel line in there. And then I'm gonna send you a picture that shows all the all the jetting that's in it right now, what sizes I ended up with. Like I said, a little rust here and there. It just it needs detailed. I don't I don't work on it very much. <laughs> 